All right, hello everybody. Um, I am back with my weekly Zur update. So this week Zur is on Io, um, and he is just by the giant scar quick travel. I'll show you here on the map. Uh, so you can see Giant Scar, that's where I am right now, and then there's Xur. Uh, so while I go to Xur, let me just quickly explain what he is for those of you who may not know. Um, Xur is an exotic uh, weapons and armor dealer. Um, now, if you're missing any sort of exotic and you just can't seem to get it, all you're going to need to go uh, do is dismantle some legendary armor or weapons. And by doing that, you'll get an item called Legendary Shards. Uh, you get, on average, about three Legendary Shards per item that you destroy. And so, after you um, gather well, probably around 30 of those, you can come to Xur. Now, Xur appears on the weekends, uh, wherever you are. And this week, Xur has the Vigilance Wing as its weapon. Now, if we take a look at the perks here, obviously this is a pulse rifle, and it's got corkscrew, rifling, alloy magazine, last stand, and composite stock. Now, I will say I have bought the Vigilance Wing um, before, like prior to this week, and after using it for a little while, I found uh, it's best in Crucible. Now, this may not be the same for everybody. In fact, I hear quite a lot of people call me crazy and that it's only good in uh, strikes and PvE. However, I find that quite uh, different. I find it's uh, quite fast shooting and the magazine size is quite big. You can see 50 and uh, rounds per minute is 530. For example, the Autumn Wind is 400 rounds per minute uh, and that shoots really quickly. So as you can see, this is actually pretty good for Crucible. Um, all in all, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I would save your shards for next week uh, because it didn't really get me too far. Um, I found myself regretting paying the, what is it, um, 29 legendary shards. Um, and this week for the Hunter, you've got the Faux Tracer helmet. Um, Honestly, I like this helmet quite a bit. If you're not running uh, the Nightfall I th or, uh, you know, something where you can't change your gear around, I think this is a great helmet um, because it has Relentless Tracker, uh, which means that it visually marks targeted enemies and it deals more damage to low health marked enemies. So this is actually quite a good helmet. Um, you've got, I believe that's two mobility, one resilience. Uh, so all in all, pretty good, although I do wish that it came stock with some restorative mod. Uh, and then for the Titan, you've got the Peacekeepers, which reloads stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly. Um, I really don't recommend these unless you're just trying to get all the exotics that you can. Um, and let me tell you why. Most people don't really use submachine guns unless it's the Antelope. Uh, in Crucible because they're not very steady and they don't do a whole lot of damage so uh, unless you're someone who uses submachine guns quite a bit I don't recommend these uh, and then you've got the Vesper of Radius for the Warlock which um, has the perk uh, Planetary Torrent which means that rifts release an arc shockwave when cast rift energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies uh, I find this to be a really nice Warlock chest piece. Um, I see that the uh, Rift Recharge is actually very prevalent. It does recharge quite a bit faster. Um, and I do like the fact that it has full resilience and recovery. I think that's great. Um, because as a Warlock, you tend to have a bit more mobility and recovery than resilience. Um, so I, I think that's pretty cool. All in all, it's a pretty good chess piece. Um, so yeah, this is where Xur is this week. Um, I'll, I'll have the week posted in the title, I think. But um, if you have not come to Xur yet and you don't know who he is, you've been living under a rock and you need to come see him now because uh, you will make really fast um, character upgrades. So once again, let me just go back to the spawn and 
like where you spawn in at Giant Scar, and then I'll take you back to Zerg. So I believe you spawn in somewhere right up there. So you'll hop on your Sparrow, and you'll come right here through this door. You'll pass through this little passageway, and then stick to your left, okay? Stick to your left right up here. Come around, sticking to your left once again, sticking to your left, and then you'll see this little hole in the wall, and that's where Zer is. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty self-explanatory, and you can also track him from the map. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you did find this remotely helpful, please, please, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out a lot, trying to grow my channel up a little bit. So yeah, see you next time.